All right, welcome back again. This is Jose. Um, I'm gonna be doing a transmitter upgrade to my Up Air One. Now, you guys know I have another video out there uh, with a transmitter upgrade from the uh, one that comes with the quadcopter. This one here, I'm going from 200 milliwatt to 600 milliwatt. It just came in today. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's YKS, 600 milliwatt, 32 channel transmitter. All right, I'm gonna be a little bit more descriptive in this video. I had a lot of questions and comments on my last video, so let's get into it. First, so here's my tool set. You wanna get a, I think a number two Allen. Yep, let me point out with this. Can you focus? No, it's Number two, Allen. Now, you don't have to take off the gimbal. You don't have to remove anything. <clears throat> Just the little gray box. Now, I want to also remind you guys, this is the old one. See that? That's the old one. And this, of course, is the heat sink that it comes with. On the top, this is the part that gets hot. And you can see the connector. There, I'll take a picture of it and add it to the video. But that's the old one. I think this one was rated like uh, 30 to 50 milliwatt. So let's take out my 200. Sorry, let's grab the drone. You can have two screws on both sides. Actually, first thing I want to do is take off this antenna. So on your up air one, you're not going to have this unless you've already upgraded it. And you're not going to have these blue heat sinks. You can add those yourself. I put the link in the description. The description in the link below. Remove these. Remove these. Two screws put aside. Now, because I did use hot glue. To glue my connectors to make sure if I ever move this it won't pull off it's a little tight to get there so I want to spin it around and there you can see my transmitter inside you can see the hot glue also on it right there right there so I'm gonna remove the hot glue now and I'll be back okay so I removed the hot glue so this is what I have so I'm just gonna take it out make sure not to loosen the wire there you go. Now carefully remove the red wire <clears throat> connecting pins right off. So there's the old one. Put that down. Let's unbox the new one. We don't need that cable. Any extra cables you don't need. Like I said, this is really plug and play. The new one comes with antenna, which I'm not going to use and the new one now the new one is coated with a plastic around it you're going to want to take that plastic off um, there's one thing when things get hot plastic's not good to have it on so carefully just snip away the plastic just peel it right off So there it is. There's my new one. And the connector is the same. And again, I'll go ahead and uh, take pictures. Now I will say on the connector, if you're looking at it, there's pins inside. If you're looking at it like this, the pins are down. If you look at it like this, real carefully, the pins look like they're a little bit higher. That's what you're going to match up with the holes on the connector on the red connector off coming off the, the drone. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, so I just wanna make sure. And this of course on the top is the heat sink also. So well, I wanna somehow make that go on top, touching the metal. Now on my, can on my case, I put a piece of tape in there. That's electrical tape, just for protection in case it rubs. 
All right, so I'm gonna mark it up, move the quadcopter, put that there. You're gonna do the same thing, just put it down the case, and as you can see, I've already drilled out the hole. You're not gonna have a hole there, so you wanna drill a hole. You're gonna to wanna to use one of these. And I started the hole with a tiny little drill bit to get the hole going. Remember now, when you line it up, you're gonna make it either left, or if you line it up this way, make it right. I prefer not to put this hot end against the plastic of the drone. So I went this way. I know uh, sometimes you could put it on the other way, but I prefer this way. Anywho, so I'm just going to fit it in there, make sure it fits. It does, just like the other one. And I'll take pictures of, like I said, the connectors. All right. Now the big drill bit to drill out this hole, I basically just got a drill bit that would match up with the circumference of the plug. And this one was perfect. I don't know the size of it, but if you have a drill, drill bit collection, you could just go ahead and try to measure it out, which one would fit better. And then once you get the little hole drilled, then the big one, it makes it that much easier. All right, so let's put it all together. So again, the hole's gonna be toward the top. I'm gonna look at my holes for my connector and I'm going to hold it and I can tell that the holes on the connector are at the top so I'm just going to connect it nice and snug so that's connected now before I put the case on I'm going to want to test it to make sure that it produces video right so, we're going to put the battery in. We're going to first put an antenna on. You don't want to power it up without the antenna. It'll burn out. Calibrate. Now it's hanging there, but I'm very careful with what I'm doing. So it doesn't unplug itself. Okay, so as that camera's calibrating, it's on picture mode, so it should work the same way. You can see here I don't have a picture. So now I'm gonna go through the channels and see if I can find a picture, just with the default settings. And if I can't, that's okay. So I'm gonna remove this black nub here. And right back there, there's a button. So I'm just gonna push it until I find the channel that that little transmitter's on. Almost there. I may have to change the channel on the transmitter. There we go. There's no picture, obviously that's the camera itself doing that. So let's fix the camera. You can see, you can see there, I got a picture now, clear, have all my settings. I did have to budge the camera a little bit, and um, but the new transmitter is working perfectly. Now let's put it all together on the quadcopter. Let's turn it off. Right. Turn this off. Turn my camera off on the quadcopter. Don't ask. These are the little problems you have with up air one. 
All right, wait carefully. Turn it. So now we got, okay. Um, the one thing I want to say with the older ones that I have here, I went from this one, the one on the right was the first one. Then I upgraded to the 200 milliwatt. This one was a Ready Toski. And the one thing I could say is how easy this is. This, you don't have to do any soldering. You don't have to do any cutting or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> all it is is just drilling a hole in this casing like that. I added the heat sinks just for make sure it stays cooler because this is encased and those do get a little warm, especially uh, distance. So that's the most work you're going to do is just drilling this hole. Other than that, it's plug and play. You saw me plug in the red wire. I turned on the, my transmitter so you can see, or my controller, so you can see it transmit. It was transmitting video, default settings. I didn't change any pin settings on the transmitter. So just plug in the red, make sure you're watching where your holes are, where your connectors are, and plug up an antenna. Don't turn the quadcopter on without an antenna. Like I said, you could uh, blow this out. So let's go ahead now and just put it all together and test it again. Now I do hot glue my connectors only just because it's safer. I think it'll hold the connector in place in case there's any kind of shaking in the air or anything like that. I'm just afraid it might get disconnected. So now, like I said, I want the black side, which is normally the silver, like on this one, the silver. This is the default heat sink. This is what draws the heat from the chip in there. So I want to make sure that this one, which is black, is going to touch this black paint. So I'm going to put it in very carefully to not disconnect it. Just lift it up and slide this under. Right into my hole. Kind of let go and just wiggle. And there, it just fell right into place. Make sure my connector is still connected. See my red wire? It's still connected. It's in there good. So now what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of hot glue. Let me get my pointer. I'm going to put a little hot glue on this connector right here because I don't want it just to disconnect while I'm in flight. I'm going to put a little hot glue here at this end too just to hold it steady in there and so it doesn't keep from moving. But even if it does move a little bit, remember I have that electrical tape in there as well. I'm going to leave all the pins default. I'm not changing anything. Like, you know, to change the channel or anything like that, I don't need to. All right. Okay, I believe glue is hot enough now. Just got to... All right. Now we're going to turn it over carefully. And it should go toward which direction you had untwisted it. The red cable. Make sure you're watching the red cable. And I'm going to make sure that the cable is tucked in through that little hole that's purposely made for it. So there's no pinching. I'm good. Now we're going to tighten. Screw it back all down. As you can see, I'm not even that good at this. So that's how you know it's gotta be an easy upgrade. And that's number two Allen again. I will put my antenna on. Just make sure it's a little tight, a little snug. Just gonna give it a little bit of turn with this. There you go. Not too tight. Hand tight. So it's all in. So now.
now I'm going to try this again. I'm going to turn on the transmitter. We just want to make sure everything works at the end. Transmitter's on. Power on the quadcopter. My room. So there you have it. Another transmitter upgrade. Now I'll go ahead and give you a brief description of what I just did. Kind of break it down to make it easy. Let me turn this off. Camera off. So you're going to take your quadcopter, you're not going to take this gimbal off, there's no need for that. Just go ahead and remove these two screws. Take that out, but these two screws, one there, one there. It's a number two Allen wrench. Once you remove this gray case, what you're going to find is this one. It's going to be in there. So on one side, and I don't know if I can get close enough to it. On one side, you have this little connector. It's got a black wire to it. That's your old antenna. Just pop it off and then cut it out of your quadcopter, however you want to do it, or try to fish it through. And then there's a the connector. You're going to unplug the red cable, which you saw there, out of this connector. I will take pictures up close of this connector so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's the first one. That's what you're going to see. I was just upgrading from my 200 to my 600. This is my ready Toski one. To my 600, and all I did was just open up the case. You're going to drill a hole where this connector can poke out of that casing. So just drill a hole, it's very easy. And then put this in, make sure the red wire. The connector matches the connector on the transmitter. Put it in, secure it however you want to. Tape or you can use glue like I did. Once you secure it, you want to test it by putting on the antenna and then turning the quadcopter on and using your controller. Once you've tested it, then all you gotta do is just put it all back together with two screws. I hope this helps anyone and I just wanted to also take this time to say I really appreciate all my subscribers um, you guys are phenomenal I can't believe I've reached over 50 subscribers to some people that might be a low number but I appreciate every one of you and I appreciate everyone who watches my videos and comments on my videos um, makes me want to keep doing them <clears throat> so I hope everyone learned something today how to upgrade your FPV transmitter I hope I was more informal this time more how-to I know the last video wasn't so clear on how to do things if you have any questions or comments, please just comment below. Like and subscribe, and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching another one of my videos.